Hello and welcome back to Great Tech New Horizons, aka a Garden of Grind. And yes, this is part four, and my name is Daros Probs. And yes, look at this! We have got a new friend! Hello! He's he's with his friend just chatting at the moment, but yep, we're, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a, a montage as per usual of what I've been up to off camera. So yeah, I got unbelievably lucky and I got an iron ingot trade for these little gold coins. Now, I don't know if this is a stupidly rare trade or if this is a really good trade, but I don't really care because, yeah, getting an iron through these coins is actually rather huge. Now, I'm really intrigued to see what other things I can actually get from this villager. Um, but yeah, this seems a bit of a ripoff to me. I mean... I, God, this is, this is quite hard, it really is, because we have to kind of go back in time to figure out how these villagers actually work. So today I want to try and get myself a villager breeding kind of setup, because I feel like villagers are just going to become stupidly OP in this. And I think this is a great way of me actually 
kind of getting a few resources such as like trades like this is really going to help me because to get iron ingots on here yeah we, we need a lot of xp from what i've heard and saw on the pdf and the other way is obviously killing mobs Yeah, my mob farm actually burnt down. <laughs> yeah, I was constructing this thing. I chopped down loads of trees and stuff. I got a load of witch, made this mob farm. And behold, there seems to be a slime chunk where I put it. And one of those uh, little baby slimes was like an inferno one or something. Boom, lightning came down. And yeah, all hell break loose. I died. <laughs> and the whole thing just burned in front of my face. So that was fun. So note to self, we need to kind of build this um, out of a non-flammable block. Because, yeah, this seems to be quite a common trait, I'm going to call it. I don't really know what you call it. Um, for these infernal mobs, that so they can get um, lightning, right? We're going to have to build this out of a non-flammable block. Obviously, dirt is an option here. We've got quite a lot of it now. But the problem with dirt is it's not the strongest block in the world. Ah, there's a slime over there in the background. Look, it's just... Gone and commit himself. <laughs> bye bye, dude. So if I look at blocks now, you can see it says um, the word hardness. So whenever you put an item down, it's actually got a hardness of five, which is an interesting thing. But the way I've actually uh, got this to show up on my, what am I looking at, is if I actually hit zero on the numpad, um, we go to modules and go to voila general, and then go to this one here. This will be set to no by default. I just set that one to true or yes. And there we go. We can see the actual hardness on blocks. So the problem with dirt is it's not really the strongest block in the world. So a lot of mobs seem to explode in this pack. I don't really know why. What I'm trying to say is I think I'm probably going to go ahead and wait for now until I can discover or somehow obtain a more hard block, um, i.e. like cobblestone. Now, cobblestone is actually not that great. It's only two. And there is a bit of a hack with this, which I'm going to show you now. So you see the hardness here is 0 0.75. Yeah, that's because that's a silverfish. And then this is a cobblestone. So in order to go ahead and breed some villagers, we need to actually go ahead and create a load of doors. Because villagers are dumb in 1.7. And they seem to think uh, doors equals a house, if I'm not mistaken, from going back in time and... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is such a weird one. Obviously, with me going ahead and trying to get a zombie villager, I've been looking at this and seeing what I can do. So, from my understanding, we're going to need a saw, a file, and probably a screwdriver to pull this off. And the reason I've saved these three like this is because you can actually make these out of pretty much any metal in this kind of pack. Um, so yeah, what I've been looking at is the actual door recipe. Now, <laughs> look at this. This is uh, a door in Greg Tech. Yeah, we need a screwdriver. We need some sort of saw and we need rings. And we also need screws and a trap door to pull this off. 
So this is a very, very expensive thing, and I am actually over the moon that I got this dude. So the first thing what we're going to craft is, in fact, a iron file. Now, I've also saved up gold just to compare it, and I might actually be using gold maybe for the file just because um, I don't really want to use up my iron, if you know what I mean, because I need the iron to actually go ahead and make the um, door rings and stuff. So there we go. We got one file. Perfect. And I think I'm going to do the same thing again to go ahead and get a saw. But I think this is like that, no? Yeah, there we go. Saw blade. Okay, so the durability is actually not that bad. So every single craft seems to use up 400, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that's actually okay. Right, so how do we actually make a saw then? Uh, we just mix it with a stick. Okay, that's fine. Nice. So we've got a saw, we've got a file. Perfect. So now we can actually make some slabs. So from my maths, we actually need 32 of these things. So we should be able to make eight trap doors. There we go. Perfect. So that's that part done. Next is this ring thing, um, but we actually need to get a rod for this, which is just literally a iron ingot with the actual file, which is a bit weird, but okay. So we need eight of them. Okay, not too bad. And we should be able to just make the ring by using the file and the hammer. So we take the file, the hammer, and this thing, and we should be able to get eight rings. Damn it. There we go, we've got eight rings now, perfect. So the last thing we need to do is get some screws for the door and we need to make these iron rods again. So let's get eight of them. And then we basically use a saw on it to cut them. There we go, we've got 16. Then the next part of that is actually, I think filing them again <laughs> to give them like the grooves. Yeah, there we go. Now this is gonna burn another file, look. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself another saw blade because I'm probably going to need it because this one's only got 25 durability. Look, there we go. So we've got two saws. Look, lovely. Uh, so we do need a saw to actually go ahead and make the actual door. But the other thing we need is a screwdriver. Now, screwdrivers are even more expensive. Uh, we need the actual two rods again. Okay, which is that. And for some unknown reason, I'm making an iron one, but okay, that's fine. <laughs> so in theory now, we pretty much have all of the ingredients we need to go ahead and make eight doors. Youch. <laughs> that was actually quite intense, but we did it. So now we got eight doors. These guys should definitely start breeding, that's for sure, as long as I place them correctly. Now, the other thing I need to start thinking about is how and where do I want these guys to breed? Now, obviously, right in front of my face is probably quite a nice idea, but the problem is I don't want them to actually have a village because this is what happens when you put the doors down. It'll become a village, and I don't want that to happen here, essentially. Um, what I want to do is try to move a village away from this area, but I need it to be always loaded because I want them to produce babies or children or whatever you want to call them, and they basically come out of that village and get transported away. So what I'm thinking is if I breed them up in the sky and either they just kind of fall down, the babies do, which is a bit weird. I mean, they could fall into water, I guess, right? Or something like that. Or uh, can I make slime blocks out of these slimes? Maybe I'm not really too sure. Yeah, they could fall down and then I could kind of catch them and transport them to another area, which is away from that village. Therefore, that and I would only need these eight doors, essentially. It, fingers crossed. Now, maybe I should have done some testing, but this is what I'm thinking. Um, so, yeah, we need to get the villagers up the top. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be really fun. And how do I do this? I guess I need to make, like, a bazillion stairs, right? Uh, yeah, I think this might be the only option. Because <laughs> I, when I was pushing these, I could push these up these quite easily. Um, I think a boat is completely out of our window, right? Oh, that looks so weird. Oh, no, it's not, actually. It's just a knife, which knives are, like, not that expensive. Um, Do I get these guys in a boat and, like, push them? Nah, I think it's fine. If I just push them up a staircase, yeah, it'll be fine. Right, Uh, okay. They're right there, okay. Oh, and by the way, I did actually get myself a bucket in the end, but I've actually got three more, look, which is pretty huge. 
Yeah, we, we did kill quite a few um, drowning creepers, and one of them was in a, a very interesting place. So yeah, that guy actually scared the actual living daylights out of me. <laughs> I genuinely thought if that thing actually exploded up in that massive tree, yeah, that would have been not fun to clear up, right? But anyway, I'm going to take some water here just in case any uh, craziness happens. But there we go. But this is good now. I've actually got four buckets because, yeah, I can actually go ahead and transport water a lot more easier. So I've just built a massive dirt staircase. <laughs> All the way up to Y68 for now. Um, I'm not sure if this is high enough or not, but we can do some testing and investigate. Um, yes, I could have done all this in a test world, but what's the fun in that, right? We want to do all this kind of in one go, and I don't want to rebuild it again. There we go. Perfect. So the stairs can all go all the way up to there. I just need to push a villager up like this. But yeah, I need to go ahead and just add some backup walls here, just so I don't actually push the fellas off. Um, right, so we need to go ahead and probably fill this area up like this, maybe. And do something like that. Put a torch down. And then kind of make it so they can't get out. Okay, I think that is it. My god, I might have got a bit uh, extreme here, but I just do not want these guys to fall off. <laughs> Because that would be absolutely a massive pain. Like, I don't think I would actually uh, continue on the series, to be honest, if that happened. Right, let's give this a go. Wait, what? Uh, why is there an emerald on the floor? And... Uh, what? Okay, I don't understand that, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Uh, hopefully that guy can't get out of there. Um, don't ask me why there's an emerald on the floor. I'm... Do they drop emeralds? Oh, I'm really confused. I, d I don't know. But anyway, let's push this guy all the way up to the top. Hopefully my plan works here. I think it's going to be fine. Probably going to hit a five here just so I can see it's a little bit easier. Yeah, he seems to be okay. This is the part I'm worried about. Is the corner... Ah. Okay. We need to do some magic trick here. Okay. I swear in this version of Minecraft, these guys do not even bother moving that much. But honestly, <laughs> that was actually rather easy. These guys genuinely don't even move at all. This is so easy. Like, why are they so, like, statuified? Oh, my God. I was really expecting that to be so hard. These guys do not move at all. But, yeah, well done. Genuinely, that was like easier than ever. So I'm back down the bottom, I've gone to sleep, as you can see, and it's actually daytime. I've got some more dirt blocks. I've got these fences here, and I've also picked up some heads as well, just because maybe I could kind of manipulate these guys a little bit with these, because you can kind of place them as if they were like blocks, right? Um, the idea of what I'm thinking is that I can try, because of hitboxes, make a baby be pushed through a hole big enough for them. If that makes sense, when they're actually born. Um, that's what I'm thinking. So, like, yeah, we, we basically need to kind of make a big platform for these guys right now, I think. Or some somewhat of a big platform. So, I'm just doing a little bit of experimenting here. It's definitely seven blocks. That's good. So, I'm thinking about just putting a water block in each corner. And then this will be nice and flush across a line sort of thing so it would actually go here then I could just put a bucket of water there and then it pushes off the babies in the distance sort of thing and I guess I could get to these two villagers somehow don't ask how up higher or something like that and then they kind of poop out the babies can you make them stand on the fence maybe or even on one of these these heads or something and then yeah they would like poop out the babies and it would instantly fall on the water stream, if you get what I mean. So a little bit of an update here. I'm kind of making this. Um, so the idea is that I will push um, the villagers up this little staircase like we just did earlier. Push them up here. And then when they get to this point, break this block. 
and then break it again and they kind of will hopefully just stand there and breed <laughs> if i put enough doors around right uh, i i think that's gonna work right so that is the plan um the only issue is we're gonna have a problem with that one but we can do that one after or maybe we don't even need to do that one essentially um but we will need to end up putting a block on the top of this as if like to kind of somewhat cover them up right right the moment of tr roof oh my god that was close there ain't another one like that is there no right here we go I didn't know there was a hole there you got there bro come on you got this just go in your little hole so close he's in he is in i repeat he's in right next okay we got issues i think the issue is that nope you do not want to go in that hole do you he took damage okay Round two, we make this a little bit bigger by actually extending this by two. So what we could do is just kind of do that and then, yeah, we have to do all this again. The other guy seems a bit excited his friend's coming. <laughs> Why is he jumping like that? Right, go on, in you go. Yeah, they're in there. Yes, okay, cool. Two things, I'm absolutely starving, so I'm very, very slow. And the other thing is we have actually run out of water. But yeah, I need to go and get some more water just to make this so it actually flows all properly. So something I discovered off camera is that you can actually cook the human meat. It's actually a little bit better than eating it raw, believe it or not. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this in real life though, but... <laughs> Yeah, but I've also got some melons as well, and I actually obtained melons from a watermelon slime, I think it was called. And with the melons, I basically just used the hammer. You can actually get melon seeds, um, which is quite a nice thing. So yeah, I've got two melons just growing here just for backups. Um, I'm just trying to eat as many different foods as I can to stay alive. Water issue is sorted. That's beautiful. Oh, there's an emerald on the floor. Look, what? Okay. Confirmed. The villagers actually seem to poop out emeralds. That is actually rather huge. Um, I did not know that was a mechanic in this pack. Um, wow. Okay. 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 But that's not a baby, is it, guys? No, it's not. Um, how do we? How do we get this to work? What's happening here? Maybe my fence idea is not a good one. Um, what I mean by that is maybe they can actually like breed on top of fences I'm, I'm not entirely sure uh wow i could just set up a load of villagers in a box and get loads of emeralds that way no yeah question mark probably so my other theory now is to do that maybe they're gonna be quite close to that block but i don't want to try and shift them up again if you know what i mean but I got a feeling that they don't like the fence. I don't know what it is. I think the fence is causing them an issue. There we go. All right, let's place the water here and pretend we are a baby. So we're going to fall off. Wee! And then we're going to go like that. And then, boom. Straight into this little puddle of water. And then I could essentially just go ahead and, you know, somewhat transport them around. <laughs> I mean, what I could do, if I put a bucket of water in each corner, they would always be in the middle, right? We do have a little bit of room. We can go underneath and even transport them somewhere else. <laughs> oh, God. It's like I'm using water as a conveyor belt or something here. Um, right. Anyway, I'm going to take this one to try and get rid of this flowing. Uh, it's not happening, is it? There we go. So I just added another bucket to that. So that should push them always into the center now, which is nice. But yeah, we need to kind of uh, probably go on the test world and figure out why these guys are not breeding. Oh, there we go. Okay. I see. I see what the problem here is. I need more doors. Maybe. Okay. Is that actually the issue? So now I've got eight again. Um, yeah, they don't seem to be actually producing the, uh, the particles anymore, uh, which is interesting. So what happens if I add another couple into the mix here? 
So let's say like 12, because I could probably afford 12. In my ah, interesting. Okay, so by just adding four extra doors, they definitely seem to be going ahead and trying to breed. Interesting. So basically, a uh, long story short is, I think I just need a few more doors. So unfortunately, we are an actual iron ingot short, which kind of sucks. So we have only got three doors um, extra. Hopefully, hopefully this will be enough. Please tell me this is going to work. So that's 10. Okay. Why don't we just put that like that? 11. <gasps> My god, it's actually working! Yes! Okay, I'll get on. can I get away with 11 doors? Oh my god. Okay, that is actually really good. Okay. Let's see what happens. So now that makes me wonder if I could actually put the fences back. Because I would actually prefer that, to be honest. 2,000 years later. Okay, we're on to a winner, I think. I think we got him. In you go. Yes! Finally, they're back in there again. But we are absolutely starving. I'm so zoomed in, but we've done it. All right, so in theory now, <laughs> these two guys should breed happily. Jesus, man. What a nightmare. Right, they are definitely starting to breed. So that is definitely worth all that pain and aggro just then. Um, <laughs> yes, okay. At least it's not been removed from the actual mod pack because I was a bit under the impression it might have been then. Um, because obviously, you know, villagers are a bit OP, right? Just just a little bit. And yeah, maybe they didn't want him to do that. We want to break this and then switch it to that. There we go. And we want to switch this to wood as well. There we go. That's better. So there is one little thing I need to do and that is just extend this because it's slightly moved now. But my god, I'm so hungry. I'm so slow. Please, guys, do your thing. <laughs> I think I need to go and kill myself. Um, two reasons why, because that was painful. And the other reason is because, yeah, I'm starving. And I've pretty much eaten all my different types of food. So let's just jump down here. And die. There we go. Perfect. Hey, there we go. So I'm back to normal now. Lovely. So in theory now... We might randomly just spot a baby just flying down the sky. <laughs> um, hopefully that is the case. Oh man, this, if it is, that's pretty cool. And then we need to just kind of collect them and hoard them somewhere. Okay, apparently you can't break that with those axes. It's weird. <gasps> My God, I can hear a baby one. There he is. It's a little one of you. It works. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. He's going. Bye. So hopefully now they will produce another one, thinking like that is not part of that village, if you know what I mean. That's the plan. Um, I do want to hit F7 here just to make sure that no zombies or anything can actually spawn here. But yeah, I've just witnessed that in action. I'm happy with that. I think that is perfect. And fingers crossed that will happen while I'm down the bottom, if that makes sense. So yeah, we just got another one of these uh, merchant ones. So we've got to wait like, what, 10, 20 minutes, I think it is, to a baby villager grows up. And then, yeah, we could probably trade some more of those gold coins. Hopefully we get that iron ingot trade again, though, so I can make another door. Because um, probably 12 is better than 11, personally. Um, but no, yeah, very happy. I have just added some heads there as well to hopefully prevent them from um, jumping out. So let's go down here, then, and see this little dude. There he is. Hello. <laughs> so he won't actually in theory ever be able to get out of that little hole because it's too much of a current technically um but what i could do is smash those four blocks there and then actually make something else or like just turn it into a little chamber or something i'm not really too sure we're probably going to see that fill up with loads of villagers at some point and then i'm going to be like i don't know what to do with them all <laughs> but is that still going to work while i'm here that's the question I'm not sure. 
And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and probably try and craft the tool station and a stencil table because I've probably got enough stuff to actually do this. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I can make patterns out of paper. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So let's just get a few of them like that. Um, I am just having a little browse at the quests as well, but I'm pretty sure the next age, i.e. Stone Age, is where Tinker's kind of stuff comes into it. But that will probably unlock when I actually get enough cobblestone to actually uh, technically beat that kind of quest. Um, right, so let's go ahead and craft these things. I'm pretty sure I've got some fences left over in here. I might need... Hey, look at that! There's an Elvis Presley in there! <laughs> yes, it's actually working! Yes, 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 yes! Okay, okay, this is actually really good. What is Elvis guy? The kingish? Oh my god. I can't believe it. It's actually working. Dan, you're a genius. You are a genius. This is just literally going to be full up of villages. Oh, this is great. This is really good. So let's go ahead and make a stencil table. Now, I believe if we hit shift and S and press this, it puts everything in there for you. Okay, it does. So one stencil table and then the tool station. Ah, oh, we're missing a crafting table. Okay, that's fine. We've got a crafting table and there we go. Tool station. Perfect. Um, so we've got these two things here. Now, problem is we don't actually have the part builder, but we can actually start making some patterns, right? So we're probably going to need a binding, that's for sure. We're going to need a tool rod and... Um, yeah, I guess a pickaxe head, right? And an axe for now, but we can make more of these via paper. Yeah, <laughs> and then this is the part where we don't have... We can't do this part, essentially. Um, but I'm just looking at what we can actually make here. We can make um, a rapier. Okay, cool. Long swords, uh, daggers, frying pans. Oh, a mattock might be quite good. Um, okay. We can actually repair things. Question is, can we repair vanilla items in there? Because that would be pretty huge if we could. Let's just try something. Doubt this is going to work, but it's worth a shot. No. So another thing I didn't actually think about is the actual pattern chest, right? Uh, we can definitely craft this to store all our patterns in. Yes, it's a bit unnecessary, but it's nice to keep it all tinker themed, right? So I had a spare chest in my chest and yeah, we should be able to go ahead and craft this thing now. So there is the pattern chest. Right, so I just went ahead and made a bunch of other different patterns, but mainly the main three we want to focus on is these. So the tool rod, the ax head and the shovel. And then obviously a pickaxe will be another thing that would be wise to make. Um, but remember, the main idea of actually making this is because I want to go ahead and use the um, byproduct, i.e. bone meal, from when I go ahead and make some bone tools, for example. Um, but yeah, we are kind of getting behind the barricade because we don't actually have oak, if you remember correctly, for this recipe. Yes, we can actually create different um, part builders. But the problem with that is we need either birch, jungle, or spruce, which are the only vanilla ones we can craft. So yeah, we need a trade with either of those four saplings for that. We just got a, another guy, a, a blonde looking guy. Yeah, this is going to get really full, isn't it? So I'm currently just uh, mining up all of this dirt and I'm going to get rid of this whole massive horrible staircase because... Yeah, look down there, there's a fourth dude, which is awesome. So that kind of confirms to me that this is officially working because if I'm not mistaken, what I read online, one villager is relates to like three doors or something in a village or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure with the math, but I've currently only got 11 doors, right? And that means I've got now six villagers. Therefore, there's too many to be in that village technically. So what I'm saying is that's village number one. And now that is actually village number two. Where have they gone? Okay, phew. They just rendered out. God, I got scared then. Oh, look, Alvis has actually grown up. What does he want? <laughs> of course he wants six emeralds for a jukebox. Can I be any more stupider? Oh, God, what is that villager? It looks hilarious, but my God, you're just going to offer me stupid trades like music discs and stuff like that, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're more of one of the, uh, the gimmicky, silly ones, I think. <laughs> but he's brilliant, though. He looks so cool. Right, let's continue breaking this. 
The staircase has officially been removed, which is awesome. Tinkerer. Oh, he's got lovely eyebrows. Interesting. So the blacksmith's actually grown up now, and yeah, he's actually sending um, iron pickaxes for eight emeralds, which is a pretty bad tray. But we can actually uh, go ahead and mount these things down, um, which is quite nice. But we can also actually use a uh, macerator, if that's how you pronounce it, um, to actually go ahead and crush it down to iron dust, which then the iron dust can be eventually turned back into iron, essentially, but used for other stuff. So, yeah, if, as long as we get a macerator, we're pretty good to go, really, for that. So we can get some iron out of three emeralds. And if we can get emeralds passively, yeah, this is this, this is all fine. But, yeah, where, where's the other villagers? Well, yeah, they decided to uh, escape. Um, so it looks to me like the max of this is four adults. And once there's four adults in there, they kind of bounce into each other. And then they can somewhat escape. Um, so that's actually not a bad thing though, because this is going to make me um, want to and need to um, kind of adjust the swimming pool a little bit. So what I'm thinking about is going in this direction, out of the way, send all the villagers this way, um, using conveyor belts, i.e. water streams. I think this is probably the best option. So I'm going to kind of construct some sort of thing right now. Um, maybe we're going to do it out of green wood, just to be different, right? So we've got the villager breeder up there, and then they fall down into this temporary pool for now, which I'm going to ditch in a minute. But then they would actually end up falling down into this whole water stream here, which then would lead them to a holding chamber. Woohoo! So then I can actually kind of somewhat kind of, you know, sort these guys out a little bit. Now, I don't really know what to do as such yet, because I imagine in my head that this is going to start to become... You know, not just two or three villages. There's going to be thousands, probably, or hundreds, right? Yeah, I don't know what to do yet, but I'm thinking about making this a 7x7 seven seven area. Or enough so I can basically push all the villages in a 3x3 three three hole. That's my plan. So I'm going to, again, have more water pushing them again. And then, because I'm at Y level 2, I can go down a couple more blocks and actually achieve this. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is basically, though, for... For now, this is something I could do off camera probably. Um, is just kind of make this all green and then have green little border going around at least two blocks high so they can't jump out. I won't do the water just for now, but I will try and build it as big as I want it. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about the future, that's all. Because, <laughs> yeah, this could end up getting quite large and messy quite quickly probably. Um, okay, so they would fall down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Oh, I just heard something go in water, so there's a baby running around somewhere. <gasps> there's a yellow guy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, and we got an escapee here. This is fine, though. We can do you as a test subject, so... Go on, in your little conveyor belt. Off you go. <laughs> Brilliant. So we've got a little beekeeper here. Now, I need to push you in there. There we go. He's going. Beautiful. In you go. Nice. And the last guy is the blacksmith. And... In you go, bro. Well done. Nice. I actually did just have a little swig on some uh, melon juice as well. There we go. Cool, so let's go back down there and investigate. I mean, we could go in the water, save our legs. Beautiful. So these guys kind of just like are going to hang out in here for now. Um, the idea, though, would be to kind of put that in each corner. Okay, and then we could put one in each little corner again in the middle of them. And then they would all get pushed to the center point. I think that is probably what I'm going to do anyway. Um, but yeah, we need to fill up some water again. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is this. I hope I've aimed that correctly. <laughs> I'm tempted to just get a load of gravel and try it because if I've aimed that wrong, we're going to have dead villager babies everywhere. I'm a little baby. I've just been born and perfect, Dan. <laughs> They shouldn't wiggle or move or anything like that, so it should be fine, right? So I've just spotted there's actually a brown slime over here. Now, I don't know what that is. 
caramel slime. Wait, what? A sticky sword? Uh. Okay. I think I just... Yep, I definitely heard a baby fall in. So yes, it's 100% working. Yes. Okay, brilliant. What? So I think what I'm going to do is kind of ditch the water for now because I just noticed that guy was um, <clears throat> glitching through the floor. Um, so yeah, I don't really want him to do that because we are at Y2 and yeah, I can't afford to lose these guys. Not just yet. So I think this is a kind of good point for me to go ahead and wrap up today. Yes, I'm so happy though. Look what we have achieved. This is huge. From two villagers, we have achieved, like, a million. So, yeah, probably when you come back next time, I'm going to have loads and loads of villagers to play around with. Um, yes, I'm going to have to do some a slight modification here. This isn't quite right. We need to pull this forward one more. But this is something I can do off camera. It's not really a biggie. But, yeah, the plan is that hopefully by the time you next see me, I will have, hopefully, a trade or two of um some saplings right so we need some vanilla saplings to go ahead and get a part builder and then that will hopefully open us up to getting a load of bone meal a lot more easier but yeah um i'm still in loving this this has been an absolute grind to kind of get this um all organized and set up but no once now it's all done it, i just can't believe it even works i mean the doors was throwing me off at the start but yeah we we, we did it i'm i'm really happy but i think having these guys and they also produce emeralds is just going to make this a lot more easier, I think. Because, yeah, we can probably buy a lot of iron and stuff like that, right? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I shall hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye!